good guys it's your girl sia aka peachy sprinkles and welcome back to another video where do i start well i'm sure by now you've all seen the video that has everybody shaking on the internet right and that's essentially what i'm here to talk about as the Rebel Color Stay Group Primer and the Baby Skin from Maybelline, so I'll be using both this on the areas that I sweat the most, and then this everywhere else. Firstly, I'm trying to understand how a 21 year old boy who has his own businesses and own issues to attend to will go out of his way to sabotage another person's relationship. Whether you so know that she had to use Tando to talk nonsense because you know that she's the only person that's bold enough to say whatever she wants to say on the internet. Second of all, I know you guys are already from the video. You already know what video I'm talking about. So to address that, it's fake. That was a lie. This Han is in the car with this guy, right? And he's asking her questions, basically finessing, asking her questions about her friend, ex-friend, Lewu, asking about Farouk and rate him out of 10, smash a pass, Farouk. You talk about Cyan Bougie. Like, dog, why are you still on her tip? Leave her alone. She doesn't even think or talk about you. She understand? And then, my guy that Uti at the baddie's house. Hey, what that? <laughs> Let me give you guys a quick backstory. So apparently what happened is... <laughs> Now I have receipts in case you're wondering and from time to time during the course of this video I'll be inserting screenshots and voice recordings of what actually happened, right? Essentially what happened was Kanye takes the tando, right? <laughs> Pulled up to her crib and said that they were going to be shooting a video. We all know that the main motive of that video was the Arjun situation. You can already tell because the title was Tando speaks about cheating with Arjun. Why don't you talk about Tando speaks about Cyan, talks about school. Obviously, that's not the important part. You know what you were there for. But it's not. Kudos to you. He went there, right? And he told her that they're going to be shooting a video, like a catching up video, basically, a QA and a of some sort. Right. So he's asking her questions to Maizisa before he gets to the juicy part. Right? And he's asking about... What happened with your relationship with who? Do you miss whoever? Do you fight? Do you see who as this? Do you want to party? And then he clears his throat. Tando. Tando. She answers. Do you do anything with Arjun? So now obviously at this point she's like, no, I did not do anything. I know what you're talking about. I know you want to talk about what actually happened in that house. Near, but the thing is, I was not even there when most of it happened. I had already gone home. So I only heard from what people had to say and like what she told me herself so basically she actually did sleep with someone in the house and yes elizabeth was the person that was next to her while she was having rounds on that bed with somebody else somebody that i'm not going to mention because honestly we have a good relationship and i'm not about to put out their name like that on the internet and there was a commotion right after because Elizabeth woke up, saw what was happening. Like this girl, 16 year old girl, is in a house with grown adults getting back shots or missionary, whatever position they were in, on the same bed that she was in, wearing her pajamas even because she was wearing um, Elizabeth's clothes. So Elizabeth just got disrespected by the fact that I give you my shit, I'm trying to accommodate you, I'm trying to be nice to you, and you do this on a bed that you know honestly you doing what you're doing that's on you but in my clothes do you get it sharps i did have a chat with elizabeth just to understand what was actually going on because i only heard all of this after i called tando i didn't actually even call her i texted her i'll put the screenshot here i'm like i want to talk to you tell me when you're ready to speak blah blah blah, blah. because i also just want to know what happened and then later onwards we got on a call and then she explained that um people were saying this about her blah 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 but she saw and so and now you know she came and then she did this she did that she did that and then she said that the guy that she did this with was whoever fine right now you can imagine this is the youngest girl in the room i'm pretty sure if somebody else was getting around or doing something it's like okay shut up it's not that deep right 
right but like it's tanu dog she's the youngest in the house number one she just arrived now she's passing the night for the first time and already you're opening your legs my sister shop kanya then hears this because him and his girlfriend were there right they were also at the house we were all there i just happened to leave earlier because i was in a space where I just felt like I'm getting uncomfortable and even my social anxiety started kicking in. I was like, you know what? I want to go home. And I left. Apparently now Kanya and Arjun spoke things out because it was a thing of, um, this is what really happened, blah, blah, blah. I hope we still now we good, blah, blah, blah. Shut Not that they were friends or anything before that. They were just evil and they were boys that shot YouTube videos together. That's another speculation. You need to calm down. They were never friends. They were boys. They were the way cool it's like i shoot a video with jay amora we, we shot a video together but we, that doesn't make us friends like we're not friends we know each other we see what we're girls like yeah i wish sharp. it's not that deep though but like if you need a favor if you need anything you gave me sharp so then he heard what he heard and he decided to move with it this bro had the whole time guys this happened like it's been a month since this happened it's been like three weeks to a month he had the whole time literally to think and plan this out like my brother i'm trying to understand like were the views so low that she had to use a 16 year old to get your money up and the video that you just shot is probably going to be your biggest video this year but at the cost of what to ruin somebody's relationship your ex's relationship it's given very much if i can't have her nobody will i don't know how your girlfriend feels about that or should we talk about how we were shooting those TikTok videos with Jay Amora? Literally, it was me, Omar, and Jay. We're shooting TikTok videos in that house. He steps into the frame. I literally watched it happen there. Eh? He came and he stood and he started dancing on my TikTok, on our TikTok. But it's like, you know what? It's, it's just okay. You know what? There's no bad blood. We're not beefing. It's mine. It's fine. Your girlfriend is all the way on the other side of the house. You're sitting here standing in front of me and Omar while we're shooting a TikTok and you're just watching and smiling and you just mesmerized. You even take out your phone to vlog. Why are you vlogging me? I did not vlog you. I don't want anything to do with you. Why are you vlogging me? Talking about, um, what do you mean? I put two of my exes in a room with my girlfriend. Bad idea. Please tell me. Why am I why am I on your thumbnail? How does Sima feel about that? Actually, I understand it's a thing of what even even so what I'm trying to understand is what exactly was a bad idea. Because as far as I'm concerned, I am not beefing with anybody, me personally. Um I have no bad blood with anybody. Your girlfriend was nah, she was just in her lane, I was in my lane, and we fight. We only had a conversation when I was helping her to set up the pipe and she was smoking with the other girls and then i left literally i stayed in that house for like an hour max after that i went home really why why are you filming me without my permission i did not ask to be in your video i do not feel comfortable being on your channel anymore because i feel like every time i'm there there's drama anyway it's cool now on that video on this video the one that i'm still addressing right now um, she then said, no, we did not do anything. You literally asked the girl, what are you trying to put force out of her mouth? She's telling you that her and the brood did not do anything. But you further forced her to say yes. Okay, you see, before the okay was smashed, there's a cut there, which means Kanya Pat. Kanya cut the part out where I was saying no we didn't smash but because Kanya is a stupid content creator and whatsoever she, um, he cut out the part where I was saying no we did not smash and then I was like okay so since you want to hear Uti we did smash okay then we smashed like that so then you know, he cut out all the parts that I said and then he only put okay we smashed there was a part that now if you watch closely on that video there were no memes on that video there were no screen recording or screen recordings of any funny videos or memes in general literally but on when it got to that part of the video where he he's asking the questions about that basically suddenly there's memes in the video to intensify a situation ange koyo bra she said in that video she literally said Arjun's mom is calling me. 
So she said on that video, she literally said, I did not do anything with him. I know what you're talking about. We spoke about it. Now, this is the point that I was trying to get to before I got so carried away. What she meant by we spoke about it and we said we agreed that we were not going to speak about it is because she said that we should keep it to ourselves. She even went and threatened Elizabeth talking about... Now, Elizabeth told me that Tando texted her or called her, threatening her, telling her that if she ever goes to the internet to talk about what happened at that house, blah, 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 who's a bona? Okay, scared. Sharp. And then Elizabeth told me all of that. I'm like, okay, you know what? It's fine. No one's taking anything to the internet. We're not going to talk about it. Whatever happened, happened. Leave it at that. Now, that is what was discussed. She said that she is not comfortable with anybody going out there to speak about it. Whatever happened at the house, happened at the house. Can you please stay at the house? Sharp. Now, Kanye goes out of his way to put her in that situation in that video. He then asked her that question. She looks at him. She's like, no, bro, we didn't. No, we didn't. Did you do anything with Arjun? No, I did not. We didn't do anything, right? It was not Arjun, right? And then he cuts the video. Now, apparently, this is what she said. I have a voice note even. I'll play it out. She says that when he cut the cameras, he told her, he bribed her, basically. He told her, that he would give her a certain amount and what she said was it's nothing less than 5k that he was going to give her that money if she said yes it was arjun if she says yes i did something with arjun he was going to give her that amount right and this is what she told somebody that's also part of this whole drama i just don't want to drop names at this point and then Today, this morning, earlier on, after obviously he, has, he dropped the video last night. We saw the video last night. We were like, wow, you really did that. Sharp. She then addressed it this morning. She even posted a screenshot on her WhatsApp status. Shouting at him, basically talking about why would you do that? Why would you, whatever, what would you make it seem like I said this, I said that. So apparently when he, when he cut the video, she said since you want me to lie okay so in the beginning of the video if you watch the video properly she's he made her swear an oath saying that um promised that she's gonna say nothing but the truth um everything that she said on this video is going to be nothing but the truth and she was like yes i promise to say nothing but the truth so now when he was forcing her to say all of that he promised he promised her a car on her birthday her birthday is in two weeks so he said that he was gonna buy her an M4. I'm not sure. Honestly, Nev, on the topic of the M4, who, how many more girls are you going to buy cars just to stay relevant? Just to try hard to be that guy. You are not him. Literally, <laughs> you are not him. I have not forgotten how you tried to make me the second girl that fainted on your channel for a car. And then when I said no, you called the next available ex. And then you told her that, hey, mommy, dearest, I want you to do one, two, three, four, right? Paint for a car, essentially. And she did. Where's the car now? Back at the dealership. As I was saying, he cut the video and told her that he was going to buy her a car on her birthday in two weeks, basically. Only if she says that, yes, I did this with Arjun. Then she's, he's going to give her the present, like the car as a present. Doug, please tell me, on what planet are you going to buy Tando a car, an M4, on her birthday? You haven't bought your mom a car yet. I haven't seen you gifting your sister a car or your dad a car. But you're going to buy a total stranger a car just because they said something about your ex-girlfriend's current boyfriend. Why? Because Ghostly Week wanted to bribe me even. Let me tell you guys. He wanted to bribe me even to say that, yes, we fucked. I know because you guys know Ghost to me. At this point, he is just desperate. Right. But um, he bribed me. He said that I must say that. He actually he tricked me into saying it. So from my my partner, please ask Ghost to me to to like post the unedited the video. Clip. Unedited, no. You're steady on our tip, and it's getting boring. We don't talk about you. No one makes content about you around your relationship about anything there's so much i could actually say on this video right now but it's just a thing it's it's a respect thing dog it's a re 
I feel like to me it has always been a respect thing. It's like okay, he didn't really do anything for me to actually feel like he's deserving of me to go out there and put his business out in the streets because we were once together and this and this happened. So now I must go there and blab on the internet the same way the other girl did. No, I don't operate like that. But now when you do fuck shit like this, I'm in a relationship. You go out of your way, boy. You bribe a 16 year old to talk cuck. On a public platform, it's Dima, CP booty. Because at this point, you could find Dima. It's dragging on the floor. Where is your self respect? Did you really run out of videos to shoot? Or are you just so low on views that obviously you had to use Tando and whatever to get back up there? Number two, to get your leak back. Fine. So obviously Tando heard that like, oh, you said you're gonna buy me a car, you promised, blah, blah, blah. She's like, okay, yeah, since you want me to like, yes, we fucked. Literally. And if you watch the video closely, then it went from no, we didn't, and then the video cut, and then it went to yes, we did, like aggressively. So the thing of, since you want me to like, yes, basically. There's literally a whole voice note of her explaining the whole thing. I used the Stay Fast Press Powder from Yardley to set the contour on my face so essentially moral of the story is don't believe everything he said tando is literally the same person that said that herself i genuinely didn't want to be one of the people that go on the internet to talk about how shitty of a person this person is and how they do this they do that they lie about this everything is just content never believe anything they post everything is a prank they'll literally fake everything just to put out a certain lifestyle out there just for content just for views you lose friends trying so hard to be relevant and you put a 16 year old on a platform where she could be degraded not that she's not degraded enough but then you try so hard to keep yourself relevant that Whatever anybody else is going to think or however they're going to feel due to your actions is fuck them, basically. You don't give a shit. I think that's very wrong. You need to self-introspect. There's so many other things you can do with your life, dog. There's so many other things that you can do on the internet. Get my relationship out of your mouth. We don't talk about you. Neither of us talk about you. We don't shoot videos about you. We don't react to your content. We don't make TikToks about you. We just mind our own businesses. We live our lives. What do I do? We are in your mother's house at the age of 21. Maruteni Posh. Kanjani, bro. Kanjani, bro. How? You're promising a, a 16 year old an M4 when your mother doesn't even, even have a Toyota Corolla from you. How? How? Stop it. <laughs> Yes, sis. Yes, sis. Get a life, dog. Get a life. By the time you see this video, Tana and Arjun would have probably dropped the video addressing the whole situation. The girl wants her leak back. I feel like you used her to get what she wanted. Tana is just a kid and she is just in a state of vulnerability she doesn't have that many many real friends and you went to her as an older brother to shoot a video with her and ask her about life and how she's been and how it's been so long since we actually sat down and spoke blah blah, blah. how have you been doing blah, blah 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 and then you do that number one that's defamation of character on the other party which is my boyfriend that is defamation of character and you can be sued for that do you understand second of all that's a child that is a minor that is a minor that you are putting in a position to say that she slept with a guy that's 21 years old five years older than her why would you do that how sick in the head do you have to be to seek validation to that extent to use situations like that to stay relevant on the internet to put a kid on a platform where she says she slept with somebody not just anybody your ex-girlfriend's boyfriend what a coincidence really where's your girlfriend dog where is where are your friends why are you using kids for views let's even start there because you don't have any real friends 
that's why what happened to shooting tiktoks and what happened to gold digger pranks why do you sit down and think about the next possible way that you could actually make other people unhappy how sick and unhappy do you have to be to go out of your way to see other people unhappy or just to feel like yes i got my leak back what leak did you get back you went on a podcast talking about how this brew we're gonna call him d dick right he did this blah blah and like honestly me as a brew i feel like if a hand does something then we can't be together anymore are you forgetting what she did and when you finish saying all of that you talk about and shout out to my nigga saucy saucy the same hand that claimed that she was you while you and i were in a relationship my brew how the same hand that we had a fight about in bram that's the same reason why we broke up you talking about you were busy with him all along no i was not he was genuinely just an ex that was in a relationship with a whole different person while i was in a relationship with you but of course you were so intimidated to the point that you <sighs> last thing while we're still on this topic I genuinely feel like there's certain things that you can do for content and everybody can just invalidate it as it's just content it's not that deep it's just a prank it's just what that but like certain things like that come from animosity jealousy or just genuine hatred you are also reflecting just how unhappy you are and just how bitter you are about certain things or just how much of a there's no nice word for it. How much of a shitty person you are. That is not nice. But you know that and you just don't care. You have no my king and funding. You have no my king and funding. But just respect yourself. What about Istima? Bribing a teenager, bribing a 16 year old to say that she slept with someone just so you can get views out of it, just so you can stay relevant. Promising her an M4. Yes, her birthday is in two weeks. Now I wanna see this M4. Yes, me now. And then maybe I'll go public and be like, oh sorry, he actually did buy her the car. But like honestly, still though, he bribe. I'm going to buy your car if you say this. Why? <laughs> to find something else to do. People have hobbies. People read. People shoot TikToks as hobbies. When are you go around bribing Abandona to? say what you want the internet to hear so that the other people can look better than you can stay relevant are you that thirsty for the spot at the top nobody is competing with you you are in competition with yourself at this point nobody is competing with you bruh relax calm down calm down boy paula also i use this blush i don't know if you can see it it's from Shein. <laughs> it's she from so I used the so there's three parts. There's this it's called the Miss Lara yeah blusher and highlighter. So the first part is the highlighter, the glitter highlighter, whatever. The second part is a lighter blush and then this side is a pinkish blush. So I just like to use the pink part for like blush and then use the first part as highlighter. I barely use the second one, I tried but it like funny fucker, it literally looks like I didn't put anything, so I don't even bother anymore. Second topic while we're still here is the baby days thing, because that's another issue, if I may say, that people have been tagging me on. Like yours, yeah, oh baby days one he's so bad he made a, a whole YouTube video talking about you are his type. What's your type, dog? <laughs> She's my type. What? <laughs> now let me tell you what happened. He texted me on Instagram um, talking about, hey, um, now I can finally see you. I don't know, maybe he thought I was in Cape Town or maybe he's in Joburg. Oh yeah, I think he came to Joburg, so he's talking about, oh yeah, now I can finally meet you in person. I was like, no sir. And then I blocked him, right? After that, because like, Doug, I know what you're trying to do. I'm not trying to be part of it. The brew that went on YouTube talking about I texted her, her boyfriend, her boyfriend made her block me. What the Dog, you're not a threat. It's really that deep. I, I genuinely don't fuck with you. 
and I, I don't I have no business linking up with you I don't want to link up with you so I blocked you because I genuinely just don't fuck with you and I feel like you know that I'm in a relationship and you're talking about let's link why do you want to link I don't want to link I blocked you I have every right to block a man that's in my DMs trying to get with me knowing very well that I'm in a relationship and I have a boyfriend and I respect my relationship Manjo, when are you touched? Because you have beef with my boyfriend. You're talking about he he forced her to block to block me. He's the one. Blah blah. He has issues with me. This nigga has issues with me. Dad, you're not a threat. The brood does not have issues with you. You need to calm down. It's me. I don't fuck with you. It's just that simple. I need fool me. Literally, it's that easy. You're talking about I'm your type. I'll see you and I type you. Um, how? It's, honestly, you are not my type, boy. Calm down how and then arjun makes a video clapping back basically using his sound the one was like her she's my type he made a video a tiktok video you've probably seen it maybe if you haven't you can go look for it he made a video talking about she's my type and then he pointed me and then on the caption he's like we're not the same bro and then baby day takes that video because he was so attached cry baby he goes on Instagram, posted on his story, talking about she's not even yours, boy. She's ghost's hun. What? What the? F what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, bro? What do you mean? All that beef for what? You go on YouTube, you go on TikTok, you what? You fighting alone? Nobody's attacking you. No one's clapping back. You went to the state and came back and you had nothing to show for it. You are not relevant. Like, the numbers are that low that you're now using my relationship to find something else to do. Make TikToks like everybody else. Dance on TikTok, post vlogs on YouTube, whatever. You're just another SoundCloud rapper that fell off. It's not that deep. It's not too late to go back to school. Why am I attacking him? It's not that deep, blah, blah. It is that deep. This boy went out of his way. Dr. Shira, YouTube video alone. Tried to get my attention. I blocked him. He didn't get my attention. He shot that video. Still trying to get my attention. Made a TikTok to get my attention. I still did not give him attention. And then he posted that on his Instagram story. And then somebody is sending me screenshots. I'm like, you see what Baby Days posted about you and your man? I'm like, Doug. Well, since you want attention so much, well, there you have it. Are you happy now? I don't want you, bro. Chill. Okay? Chill. You're just fighting alone. You go collab with Sonobile and just talk shit. So Sonobile, what kind of nail went and brought another hand talking about, yo, bro, you've had Sia for, you've had Sia for so long. When is it going to be my turn? Your turn to do it, Rizla Bay. How you type, yam? And I thought we were boys, that's the crazy thing. I actually thought we were friends. But like honestly, I just honestly just came to the realization that in as long as your business is public and it's out there, there are obviously going to be people that do not wish you well and are going to try to go out of their way to make sure that, that it is not fruitful. Let me just put it that way. Like, calm down. Anyways, I'm using this baking powder. I forgot the name thingy wiped off, so I can't really even tell you. Oh, Makeup Revolution. It's the Makeup Revolution banana powder. So I'm just going to use that to set the concealer under my eyes before I start creasing. I feel like I have covered most of what I wanted to come here and speak about, so you will never hear from me again regarding these issues. Um, I like, actually don't even think that the issues regarding this matters, little inconveniences. Now that you guys understand, it's honestly up to you to believe what you want to believe and hear what you want to hear and decide what wave you are riding on. That's okay, dog. To each their own, honestly. If you don't appreciate it, I don't appreciate it, me personally. Get my relationship out of your mouth. That seems like the next best thing to talk about right now. And honestly, I understand. But stop. Please, stop. So, yeah. Me personally, if somebody comes to my DMs and asks me questions about Baby Days or Goshibi or Sonobile again, the blocker, respectfully, I'm actually going to block you. I'm not even joking. If you're on my comment section talking about, yo, see, I did you see, I saw, please leave me alone, dog. Can you please? It's, 
Okay, what do you want me to do? I've made a video addressing it. Can you now please leave me alone? Right? They they do what they want to do. It's social media, it's content. At the end of the day, they're just all creating content. Content. Doug, you left your hand all the way there on the other side of the room with random girls and you're standing here in front of two of your exes and you filming us he's standing and smiling at me i didn't even confront you at some point like i don't like the way you were looking at sia like i understand you guys are exes and everything but like the boundaries like can you focus on other things you're just standing there looking at me like bro i i watched you look at me i watched you smile at me okay hi but can you stop you stood there for like over 10 minutes mesmerized i'd like to think i understand honestly i get it but it's not cute what does your girl have to say about that because jenny and chance near me personally if my man was standing in front of his ex watching her shoot tiktoks and smiling at her i'd lose my shit it's genuinely not going to even be a thing to laugh about another disclaimer if you feel like whatever i said on this video offended you um it genuinely was not my intention at least i'd like to think it honestly was not my intention to offend anybody except the people that directly offended me on the internet you used this platform to disrespect me so i'm going to use the same platform to address you right so yeah i'm so sorry to anybody else if you feel like i judge you into this and you feel offended by whatever i might have said to you or about you directly or indirectly my sincerest apologies i'm practically done with my makeup so that basically wraps up the whole video anyways that brings us to the end of the video so if you like what you see and you're not part of the family yet please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never find this time a video drops on my channel baby i'll see you guys next time <laughs> hey why do you guys hope what's up all the good girls need a little bit of uh, 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 beyonce <laughs>